Welcome to the show. I am your host Sandman. Today I'm going to be reviewing Table Vices. Let's get into it. First off, this video is a bit premature. I just purchased my fourth Table Vice specifically from Multipick and it is proprietary for Euro Profile cylinders. So I should be able to take this Euro, Pro Euro Profile cylinder on either direction, dimple lock or or pin tumbler side, and I should be able to pick it, but it's not really designed for anything else, so it really doesn't belong in this review. I will be doing a separate review on that product once it gets in and I have spent time with it. However, instead, I'm going to be reviewing table vices I've been using for the last 10 to 15 years, so let's go ahead and move into that. First and foremost, let's talk about one of the very first table vices I ever got into, and that is like this basic um, vacuum base table vice. Now this specific one is from Bessie and it retails for $33 on Amazon. I will provide a link for all of these devices in the description down below as always. But I had a green one that I had purchased from Harbor Freight. It had a triangular base shaped vacuum by vice and it was the exact same head, swivel, everything. Everything about it was identical to this. The only thing difference between this is that this is gray. I honestly, this is, that's it. Um, other And, you know, like the base is uh, rectangular in shape instead of triangular in shape. But this is identical. I just gave that thing away. I've had it for like 12 years. Someone I saw said that they wanted one. I was like, well, do you want my old one? He's like, yeah, sure. I actually felt bad giving it to him because that thing was beat up. <laughs> it was so beat up. Like the vacuum vice didn't even uh, function anymore. But this one is definitely an upgrade and it says Bessie on it. And, um, you know, it's just awesome for what it is. This thing will fit everything from your barrel locks. Obviously, I'm on it, I have the uh, rubber jaws in here, um, but this thing will fit your barrel locks perfectly. You would think that these things wouldn't actually hold very well in here, that you would need larger teeth, but this thing holds them perfectly, especially with those rubber jaws. This is not going anywhere. It's just not. Um, that man, that is so solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, let's take a look at some bigger locks that I have in my collection. So we have a regular master lock. Okay. Obviously this is going to work in here. And I think this actually probably fits in here the best of all the locks because it has these little triangular grooves cut out in here and a master lock actually has these weird facets that almost make it, you know, like edges like on a triangle. So obviously that holds, but I want to compare that to the big boy, the Master 19. I guarantee 90% of you have never even seen that guy before. So uh, just a comparison, look at this Master Lock number three compared to my high security Master Padlock. That's the Master 19. This thing weighs like two pounds. It's ridiculous. Let's see if this guy will fit in there. I have no doubt that it will. So, oh man, this thing's ginormous. Okay, yeah, so I like to rest a lot of locks on the bottom bars right here. And this thing fits in here perfectly. Oh man, this is great. And oh, I just lost one of my pads, but this thing fits perfectly just fine. You guys get the idea here. And then what else? Um, I have a, a high security best uh, brand lock. Let's go ahead and see how that fits in here. And so this thing is ginormous. This thing's really nice, bougie. And I like to just rest it right there and boom, it fits perfectly. Obviously, I mean, hey, it's a table vise, it works. Now, what's the benefits of a table vise you're asking? Because the last two locks I just showed you, um, you cannot just hold these suckers in your hand. There's a lot of stuff you can't hold in your hand. So obviously like this, uh, this is a rim cylinder. No, excuse me, it's a mortar cylinder because it has threads. So it's designed to thread into a mortise case. I can hold this guy just fine and I can pick this lock with no trouble. But, 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 what if you had a Kia nub cylinder? I've seen people struggle with these and put them in their hand and try to pick them. And it is the most awkward thing to watch somebody pick one of these in their hand. It's totally doable, but why would you do that when you can get yourself a table vise and put this guy in there instead? Or, you know, articulate it to where, you know, it does that, whatever. So that's the benefit of a table vise is it holds awkward objects that are uncomfortable in your hand. Alternatively, alternatively, when I have, okay, we all picked a master lock number three in our, in our hands, and we know where these can fit in a table vice, but guys, you cannot hold this in your hand. I don't know anybody that can hold this in their hand and pick it. Uh, this thing has barrel pins, so this is a purple belt level lock, and I just don't think I could do this. I'd have to like 
boom, just, you know, sit it down. So that's not super practical. This guy is so uncomfortable. I'm not going to hold this and pick it in my hand. Why would I put it in a table vise? So the purposes of a table vise is for comfort. There are people in this world that... <sighs> that live their lives around locksmithing and covert entry. It's so weird. I don't know why they don't see it the way I see it, but there's locksmithing, then there is covert entry or even uh, overt entry or anything that, you know, uh, what's that term that's called where it's, uh, I'll think of it later, but you know, you have covert and you have, obviously it's non-covert. So you just, uh, uh, oh man, it almost came with, is it dynamic entry? Sure, we'll just call it that. So, you know, like, military tactical st style entry, okay? And you have lock sport, all right? And then there was one other, I can't remember what it was, but uh, basically anything that has to do with locks, there's all different areas of it and we can all benefit from having this. But for some reason, locksmiths are like, I would never need that for my job. Well, then you're in the wrong YouTube channel, my friend. This is a lock sport channel. And then you get the covert entry guys who are, who are like, it's not realistic enough, Sandman. This is... You're just being comfortable and fat and lazy and you're sitting at your desk. You got to come out here in the real world with the real men. Ah, like that sounds like an exaggeration. It is not an exaggeration. These people are freaking weirdos. Okay. First off, this is as realistic as it's going to get without having to take a knee on some concrete in 40 degree weather while a customer is breathing down your neck. If I put a lock in my table vise, am I not replicating a lock that has been installed on a door? Uh, duh. Also, okay, yeah, but Sam, man, bah, just stop. There's gonna be haters that hate on everything that we do. It's just the way it is. Some people like baseball, some people like basketball, some people like football. Guess what? It's all sports and they all involve balls and goals and athletics and everything else. It's all the same stuff. If is, is it not? Somebody's going to flame me in the comments. No, it's not. Well, that's where we are in lock sport. And this, my friends, is how you want to get better at lock smart. This is, this is like proprietary to our hobby. If when I think of lock sport, I think of table vices and I think of timers and I think of high end lock picks and I think of high security locks. That's what I think about. I also think of pinning mats and I think of gutting and I think of uh, progressive progressive pinning. I think of things that are specific to lock sport itself, like challenge locks. I don't think about taking a knee outside of my front door and picking the lock to my front door and calling that lock sport. It's not lock sport. This is lock sport. This table vice is lock sport. And this is just a benefit that everybody can use though. You can still use this if you're in covert entry. You want to get good at lock picking, get this. Same thing with locksmiths. Hey guys, if you want to stop relying on your freaking cordless drill, get one of these and actually get good at lock picking. Duh. So moving forward, I really love the table vice. Another great thing about the table vice, you can get super comfortable with this thing. I like to rest my hand right here and I just like to just hold and caress my table vice. Is that creepy enough for you guys? Just kidding. So I like to just get super comfortable here and I can put my elbows on my desk. And so I've even practiced, I've even like put like little bean bags underneath my elbows. I've done all kinds of weird stuff and I can get super comfortable here and pick this lock for hours on end. My lower back will fatigue out of just sitting in the same position in a chair before my hands do. This is super comfortable. People tell me that they can't pick locks for a long period of time. Picking locks is a lot like welding. The secret to welding, being a great welder, is just being comfortable. And then the rest is just practice and putting in the tens of thousands of hours moving forward. So this thing is going to hold cylindrical locks. This thing is going to hold oval locks. This thing is going to hold you know, rectangular shape locks. This thing will hold ginormous locks. And, and let's talk about cutaways. So most cutaways are, ah, man, I don't like telling people that they need to buy a cutaway or a clear acrylic lock because you can't see. If I put this guy in a table vise, I can't see into the cutaway, guys. I just can't. That's why I just say, just buy a real lock. Now I do love my multi-pick cutaway because if I put this in a vise and guess what? I can still see in the cutaway. That's why they fucking knock this thing out of the park. I apologize for cursing and there goes my ad revenue. But I digress. If I were to clamp just the shackle end of this into my table vise, 
if I just clamp the shackle into the vise, ta 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 ta, I can still have access to that. Now it's still not practical for practicing, in my opinion. What am I gonna do? Put a mirror over here and be like, okay, I need to get pen number four a little bit higher. Now this is great if I want to make videos. I could do that. I could use that to make videos, but. That's how you're gonna have to pick this cutaway. But that's the great thing about having a table vise. I can do that. If I try to just pick this sucker in my hand, you're not gonna see this side over here with a camera. You're not gonna see it. You're not, you're not seeing anything. So that's my argument for table vices. That vacuum base vice is, no, not that one. That vacuum base vice is this Bessie. And it is the BV for Bessie vice. And it's VB, vacuum base. So Bessie BV as in Bravo, Victor, Victor, Bravo, vacuum base, vice, $33.78 in North America, USD, Amazon. Let's move on to Panavice. So I bought that one. I bought that vacuum base vice a long time ago. Then we come along with the Panavice. Bosnian Bill, my friends, Bosnian Bill was the first YouTuber to use this that I'm aware of. I could go through and look at all the old stuff from back in the day, but why would I just take my word for it? Bosnian Bill made this famous at the very least. Bosnian Bill. And he bought this Panavice 350 model. Now, it, he, he used this identical head right here, that clamp, and he used this identical base and everything, and that is the Panavice 350 multi-purpose work center, $109. That actually has gone up. These typically sell for $90. I purchased this between a, for 120, but with taxes and shipping, I think it came out to like $150. When I purchased this in 2012, I had this since 2012, and I, 2012, 2013, and then I, yeah, and then I, um, yeah, I, uh, I paid like $150 and I had to buy it. I had to buy a spice straight from Panavice because they didn't have this anywhere else. I don't even think Amazon or fuck shopping was a thing. I don't even remember, but I couldn't get it on Amazon like you can today. It's less today, but it's more expensive than it was like a month ago. So keep an eye on that. Put it in your shopping cart. You'll get daily, no daily notifications. If items go up or down, you should be able to get this for like 95 bucks. But is it worth paying the extra 15? Yes. However, people in the UK are telling me that this sucker costs 300 euros because of shipping and everything else. I almost feel like that's terrible, but at the same time, this is the best vice that money can buy. There is no better vice than this, in my opinion. And I think that's worth 300 euros. I would probably spend 500 euros if I had to, if I had that kind of money. I'm not rich, folks. I'm irresponsible. So this is what I would buy. And the great thing about this vice base is it has these little pockets here. I like the pockets. I like to put my tools in here. I use it for turning tools, my tension wrenches. I love this here. This, this teeth go so far out and I use it all the time for huge, ginormous locks. It's just super beneficial. And once this thing does get maxed out, you need like a couple more inches. You can take these teeth and you could flip them around and it gives you an extra like two inches or so. I love that. Also, these pads come off in case there's something you want to put in here. I don't really do that often, but sometimes it happens. Um, there were a couple ticks, tips and tricks I was going to add to this video, but uh, I'll go ahead and say that right now. Like, so I've, in the past, um, you could put this guy in there. Now we have an upgrade for holding specifically this. We'll get that into a second. But what I've done in the past is I've taken a piece of leather, like a leather strap, and you wrap this in the leather strap and you clamp it in the vise, and it'll actually hold these quite well. And it will hold these quite well if you put a leather strap in there too, but you don't really need that with these rubber teeth. So there's really not a whole lot to explain to this. Sometimes you'll find a company that'll sell stickers just for your Panavice, like Peterson Manufacturing. I hate that guy's company. I like his tools, but I hate his company. So I'm gonna be taking these stickers off. But I wanted to show you that these are so popular that people make stickers specifically for Panavice in Locksport. In fact, Peterson Manufacturing has stickers to put inside these little wells here. Uh, I never went that crazy because I knew it would look like garbage from throwing my tools in here. But you know, that's a neat way if you can, I, I think, I think Covert Instruments, I think Multipick, and I think Sparrow should jump on the bandwagon and offer stickers to decorate your pan of ice because this is the vice for Lock Sport. What is great about this is the changeable head. I can take this head out and I can put in this head, okay? I don't have rubber teeth for this, so I don't use this often, and I cannot find rubber teeth for the pan of ice. But, uh, you know, this is an option. 
alternative, and that's nylon, so I could use it on a lot of locks and not have to worry about it. Alternatively, a lot of people in lock sport, let me get this out, are using this type of head here for cylinders, for mortise and rim cylinders, key and knob cylinders. This thing is super universal. Look at that. Look at that. Look how it holds your key and knob cylinder. Now this is so practical and I can pick a lock in this thing. Isn't that amazing? And that jaw just perfectly adjusts to any size cylindrical object here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now, Panavice does not sell this head. This is a conglomeration that was put together by members of Discord and Reddit community. And you can find the parts to this in the description of this video. Um, it is like four different or three different parts that you have to buy separately to put together. However, I saw something very clever the other day. Somebody had taken one of these heads, okay? They put that there and then they took, oh, I can't do it because it's so tight, but they took off, they didn't have this stem here. They were able to take just this and put it in the clamp here to hold their, yeah. So that's, this guy was inside this. It was crazy smart, but I really prefer this. So I, I love having this guy on into that. Now then, another reason why you want to go with Panavice is if you have a little bit more money and if you just, you know, stop eating out and, you know, eating fast food and stuff, I would highly recommend you put your money instead to this vacuum vice right here. And now you can put this guy there. Also, you could put this guy right there. Boom. Also, you can put this guy right here. So this is the, uh, what is that called? So this big round guy right here is the 350. And that's $109. This base right here from Panavice is the 380 vacuum base. And that's $54 right there. So $54 just for this guy. Obviously, it's $20 more than this. And you're only getting half of a vice. But if you were to... Uh, and here's where I'm going with this. I don't think you need this guy. I never use it. But I bought it with this. I bought them as a unit. And that whole thing cost me 86 bucks. I would recommend you save the $86 and you don't get that. And you could totally get the vacuum base and you could get the self-centering extra wide opening head. So this guy right here is 50 bucks. This guy right here is 50 bucks. Oh man, you're still spending, you know, $100. Okay, well, it is what it is. So why do I have two of these? Why do I need two of these? I am going to be doing lock picking videos specifically on this vice. Oh man, I sound so first world here and, uh, and very fortunate and blessed. So this vice I use every day for, for trying to figure out how to pick locks. It's just the way it is. I just spend all day on this. And then when I put this whole thing together, it's just a lot to like put into my video and to pick on. It's not a big deal, but I had purchased this with the intention of taking to lock sport meetups. It's smaller, it's less heavy. I'm going to put it into a backpack and I wanted to take this to lock sport meetups because they, people bring locks and I'm like, Hey, Sam, man, can you pick this? And I'm like, no, probably not, but I'm going to try. And so I wanted to bring this to lock sport meetups. So all I had to do is just pull out the head, this guy, the actual vice part, and just take this whole thing with me. You know what happened was I fell in love with this thing. I fell in love with this thing. And I was like, I'm not taking that to lock sport meetups. Are you high? I'm going to take my Bessie Vice. So this is my new lock sport meetup rig. And this whole thing disassembles like that. Disassembles. So there might be a little bit of grease here, but that's all right. It goes inside my backpack. This is going in my backpack. This goes in my backpack. I don't care if this gets scratched. This was $33. I don't care. And if I need to replace it, $33 replaces it. This guy, however, is a $100 investment. So I don't really need this for lock sport meetups. And I don't want to get it messed up and scratched. So now I have two vices for my house. I have one vice that's on one bench. I have another vice that's on another bench. We're on my third bench that I do reviews on. I have benches all over the house because I like to work with my hands. So that's what it's for. I bought this for traveling. I love this so much. I now have two table vices at home. This is the alternative head that you want to slowly invest in. I will have links in the description down below right here. And that's that. Let's talk about these prices again, and then we'll end this video. We're like 20 minutes into it. So if we're looking at this guy, this is the Panavice 381. 
I don't recommend you, you get that head. You just don't need it. You could buy it without that head. But, you know, hey, maybe you're a hobbyist and there's other things you're going to use it for and you want to collect Panavice heads on a singular base. I don't know. But this is $86. This Panavice 350 is $109. Let's take a look at uh, this guy right here. All right, so the Bessie is $33. The Panavice 376 self-centering extra wide opening head. That is this guy right here. This this is your bread and butter. This is what you really want. And that guy is $51. And then the base for the vacuum base for Panavice is $54. And this super clamp right here is just like $8. The stem is $10, $9, $10. And then you need uh, one of these adapters here, the one quarter uh, tw by 20, so 20 threads per inch, male to three eighths by 16 threads per inch male, whatever, and that's $8 right there. So you need those three parts to be able to put this together to fit into your pan of ice, and that's what I would recommend. So the Bessie vice, why not? I have it right here, so let's go ahead and talk about it. The Bessie vacuum vice is two and three quarters here on the uh, blah, blah, blah. So this guy is two and three quarters on the teeth or the jaw, excuse me, the jaw of it. And it just comes in a big box like that. And then when you get either of your pan devices, you're going to get a nice packaging's real nice. You're going to see all kinds of accessories here and they have a lot of different stuff, but I've looked through this. I don't see anything that is really going to help you. One last thing. I don't even know how I forgot this. Blah. I have this guy. So I just don't talk about it because I never freaking use it. You'll see people suggest these. You'll see people sell these. Don't buy this. This is garbage. Don't do it. <laughs> these are going to run you about $40 anyways. I think I may have paid $60 just because it says Leashy on it. If I remember correctly, I was like, yeah, I could buy it for 40 bucks, but the exact, the exact same one says Leashy on it. And I'm just going to go ahead and buy the one that says Leashy on it. I spent an extra 20 bucks for Brandy and Sumi. And this is really great for cam locks or vehicle locks, motorcycle locks, any type of lock that'll fit in there. They're, they're essentially like a cylinder, right? So they fit in here. And this was the, I guess someone created this out of necessity saying, Hey, you know, a lot of these door locks are kind of goofy and you can't put them into a vice. So it just goes in like this. That's fine. I don't have super comp, uh, complaints about it other than the fact that this clamps to your desk and you're going to have to pick a lock that's going to be parallel to the level of your desk. That's it. You can't move it around. You're not going to be comfortable, but this is really great for using leashy tools, leashy automotive. And I would, it's designed by this particular one is branded by leashy for automotive locksmithing so if you're into that portion of locksmithing or lock sport or covert entry because they all handle or do have something to do with automotive stuff this is not a terrible option but my friends you could just put it in one of these okay so i did have somebody recently try to suggest she's like oh you should get one of these vices like well i have one of those and it's garbage and it tells me you've never used one of these vices and this is what you need to get so that's what i would recommend I don't know what else to talk about, my friends. There's nothing else to add to this. Buy something that holds your locks and, and stick with it, and it's going to be super comfortable. I recommend you start off with the $33 vice for sure, and then work your way up to this big boy right here for $100. It's going to last you a lifetime, and it's totally worth it. That's all I have for today. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you use a table vice? Do you use a specific brand of table vice? Is there a brand that I should take a look at that maybe I'm not aware of? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's get that conversation going. I'd love to learn from all of you. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And as always, my friends, uh, keep it classy. I don't know. I'm still working on my... Uh... <laughs> I'm still working on my catchphrase. Let me know in the comments down below what my new catchphrase should be. I've just been using a uh, catch you guys next time and then I hang it up, but I sound very insincere. You know, am I going to catch you next time? Can I catch you at all? I don't know. Let me know. Talk to you later. Mr.